There's something beyond socioeconomic status that is driving the breast cancer burden that we see uniquely in the African American population. For example, African American women until very recently actually had lower lifetime incidence rates of breast cancer compared to white American women, yet we have a younger age distribution. And for women younger than the age of 45, breast cancer incidence rates are higher for African American compared to white American women. African American women also have a twofold higher rate of, on a population basis, for triple negative breast cancers, the cancers that are biologically more aggressive, the cancers that are negative for the estrogen receptor, the progesterone receptor, and the HER2 new biomarker. Also, for very poorly understood reasons, the African American community has a higher population based incidence rate of male breast cancer. Now, this issue of the higher burden of triple negative breast cancer in African American women has important implications with regard to mammographic screening. Recently, the United States Preventive Service Task Force has been recommending that average risk American women initiate mammographic screening at age 50 rather than age 40, although they do advocate, as do most other groups, in favor of women having access to mammograms at age 40. But they recommend that the mammograms be started at age 50. If African American women, as well as white American women, adhere to initiation of screening mammography at age 50, we will probably start to see widening of the mortality gap that already exists because of the fact that African American women are more likely to get breast cancers at younger ages, and at all ages, African American women are more likely to get the biologically aggressive patterns of breast cancer. So delayed screening will result in delayed diagnoses of these biologically more aggressive tumors in the African American population. We are also actually seeing disproportionately rising incidence rates of breast cancer in African American women so that we are already seeing a widening of the mortality gap. And that mortality gap now sits at 42% more deaths from breast cancer in the African American community compared to the white American community. My group, my research group at the Henry Ford Health System, the International Center for the Study of Breast Cancer Subtypes, we've been looking at germline inherited characteristics of breast cancer in African American women, white American women, and women in Africa to try to look at whether or not ancestral patterns might also be contributing to these uh, patterns of breast cancer. Interestingly, what we have seen is that Ghanaian women in Western Sub-Saharan Africa have very high risk for triple negative breast cancers, and more than half of the breast cancer patients in Ghana have triple negative tumors. So this suggests that there is something specifically related to Western Sub-Saharan African ancestry that predisposes women for the risk of having these biologically aggressive triple negative breast cancers. The slave trade from back in the colonial era of the, the country brought slaves from Western Sub-Saharan Africa over to the United States. There are some groups that have uh, collaborated to uh, bring together all of their data sets regarding breast cancer in African Americans compared to white Americans, and they have been identifying some germline patterns, some SNPs that are associated with African ancestry that also appear to be associated with risk for estrogen receptor negative and triple negative breast cancer. Triple negative breast cancer and its higher frequency in Africa African Americans is definitely important to bear in mind when we talk about mammographic screening for African Americans, but it's also important when we start talking about uh, being mindful of, of referrals for genetic counseling. We know that triple negative breast cancer is a risk factor for having a mutation in the BRCA1 gene, and there is unfortunately a, a deficit in information regarding 
uh, frequency of germline uh, mutations and hereditary susceptibility gene mutations in African American families. So it's very, very important for African American women that have triple negative breast cancers to be referred for genetic counseling so that we can generate more information regarding the mutations that are present in familial African American breast cancers. As we start learning more about triple negative breast cancer and triple negative breast cancer subtypes, we are also learning more about uh, personalized precision treatment for triple negative breast cancers. And some triple negative breast cancers that are either associated with BRCA1 mutations or triple negative breast cancers that feature tumor somatic uh, mutations similar to what we see in BRCA1 mutations, these types of tumors are more likely to respond to certain uh, types of uh, advanced uh, systemic therapies for the disease. So it is very, very important that we do everything possible to study triple negative tumors from diverse populations so that we generate a much larger library of knowledge regarding the diversity of these tumors and the best ways to treat them. Yeah.